Hey friends, Wild here, back with another regulation E VGC battle video for you. Today we have a really fun grass and fire team, inspired by the previous team that I posted on the YouTube channel, which was a Dosh Bunt team. This now has a grass and fire core instead of ice and fire, and it's a really, really fun team. The original team was created by Mr. Kurtastic. This is my take on the team with my own Mons, and I took the last week or so to team build the squad, and I've been killing it on the ladder recently with them. It's a really, really fun team. Feel free to check it out. The rental code is in the description below. If you liked the video, please leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's get right into it. All right, hopping into team preview of this grass and fire team, of course, featuring a dosh bun and iron bundle as well. Uh, first mod to check out is Chi Yu, which is a ghost terror type carrying the choice scarf, beads of ruin ability, of course. We have lava plume, overheat, Dark Pulse, and Psychic. So we're going with a more aggressive fire move. Two aggressive fire moves. Lava's Plume is going to do damage to ourself, which activates the Dosh Bun. We have Overheat, which is going to lower our special attack once we use it, but it's a base power of 130, I believe. Yeah, 130, which is actually crazy. Dark Pulse, and then Psychic for more coverage as well. This is max special attack, max speed, Choice Scarf to you. Is very good at setting this Dosh Bun. It's a good lead with... Iron Bundle, Dosh Bun, or even potentially Rillaboom. And it's nice next to the, the Heatran as well because we have Flash Fire. Next is our Heatran with Life Orb. This is a pretty slow Heatran. We have Lava Plume, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, and Protect for very good coverage moves. Uh, Heatran's good once Trick Room goes down because it's very hard to stop Trick Room on this team. Um, Lava Plume will activate the Dosh Bun's Well Baked Body ability as well. Earth Power and Flash Cannon, great coverage moves, and we have the Fairy Terra type. This thing hits very, very hard. The only issue is it's really slow and can be hard to bring if Trick Room's not up, which we don't set. Next is our Grass Core, starting with Rillaboom. This is a max attack Rillaboom. So the main difference from this team and Mr. Kurtasic's team in the Rillaboom slot is that we're looking to do a lot more damage with our max attack Rillaboom. We have Fake Out, Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, and U-Turn. This is looking to set up our Ogre Pawn, also provide healing to our Dosh Bun once we're fully set up, and just really synergizes really nicely with Ogre Pawn, Dosh Bun, even the, honestly, all the Mons on the team. I, I love the synergy on this team. Grass Terra type for extra damage. Yeah, this thing's a monster. Salt Vest as well. Next, we have the base Ogre Pawn with the Razor Claw, which is going to boost our critical hit ratio, making those IV Cudgels hit. Uh, get the crits even even more likely. That wasn't a phenomenal English, but we're more likely to get crits on Ivy Cudgels. We have Grassy Glide with that Rillaboom setup, Stomping Tantrum, and Spiky Shield. Of course, we're Terra Grass, but we have the Defiant ability. This Mon is really, really good for the amount of Intimidate users running on the field right now, which will only look to increase as we add more Pokemon. So it's a great Mon, and will be pretty good in, in the upcoming regulations as well. This one isn't max attack or max speed. We're actually pretty spread out with our EVs. 76 HP, 140 attack, 100 defense, 52 special defense, and 140 speed. We're able to take some attacks that our opponents wouldn't necessarily expect, and we're really looking to use this mon when there's Intimidate users. Other than that, I didn't really bring it very much. Next, we got Doshbun with Body Press, Snarl, Yawn, and Protect. Doshbun can be set up and synergize with a lot of mons, mons, not mons, mons on this team. Chi Yu and Heatran specifically will set up the Dosh Bun's well baked body ability by using that Lava Plume attack, which then boosts our defense by two stages. This Dosh Bun is also max special attack with calm nature, not max special attack, max special defense with calm nature to boost our special defense as well. We're really looking to just take as many attacks as we can by boosting our defense and special defense with this Dosh Bun. We're, fair, or we're Steel Terra, Body Press, Snarl, Yawn, and Protect. Like I said, Leftovers is the ability. Um, moving on, the last Mon is Iron Bundle. The main difference between my Iron Bundle and Mr. Kurtasic's Iron Bundle is I added Freeze Dry. We don't have that alone in Nine Tails as well to set up those blizzards. So we have Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Encore, and protect. This is a speed booster iron bundle. I really like using Encore on my iron bundles. Ghost Terra type to avoid fake out, similar to that Chi Yu. And we're max speed, max special attack, looking to hit hard, looking to mess our opponents up with Encore. 
Really, really nice Mon in the current meta. That's the whole squad. It's a really, really fun team. Shout out to Mr. Cortastic for the original idea, but this is my take on it with my Mons, and I've been absolutely loving it. I highly recommend you check out or try this team on the ladder if you haven't done so already. Doshman's so fun to use. The rest of the Mons are really, really good into the meta right now. Super fun. Let's get into it. All right, let's do this. Kaje Tokaje, okay. Urshifu, Chan Pao. Got Hisui and Arcanine, Gyarados, Goldango, Roaring Moon. Interesting squad, a bunch of physical attackers. Gotta watch out for that Goldango. He's gonna be a little bit of a problem if we decide to bring the Dosh Bun. But that is all right. I think we definitely do want to bring the Bun here. I think we're just gonna lead the Firefish, Chiyu, and the Dosh Bun. What do we want to bring in the back? Um, because of that Urshifu, if it's Rapid Strike, they also have a, a, two Intimidate users, so Ogre Pond's actually pretty good. Um, I think we do bring Ogre Pond, and we do bring Rillaboom. I know it feels weird to bring both Grass. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, <laughs> a little fire and grass. Let's rock and roll. I think the biggest threat right now is that gold dango, as I mentioned, because it's a special attacker, and we cannot hit it with our body press move. That makes it a little frustrating, but we do have snarl. All right, but out comes Chen Pao and Ursh. Okay. Sure. Our Chi Yu's probably gonna go down pretty fast here and we didn't bring Heatran. Um so we're probably only gonna be able to set this Doshman up once actually, which isn't ideal. But that said, we're still gonna go for it. And we're just gonna look to end this Shen Pao. Because it's likely sashed. So they don't really need to tear it. Yeah. We'll save our Terra for now. Let's see what they go for. They just protect, okay. And they U-turn. That does a lot to our TU. Wow. Oh. That's gotta be it has to be char uh scarfed. Scarfed because we're a scarfed Chi use. So Urshifu outspeeds us. A little bit frustrating. Okay. And they send out Roaring Moon with attack heightened. Good news is we should be able to get set up with Dashbun here. Get another one out, hopefully. Won't be getting our body press off. So, we're just going to go for another Lava Plume. Uh, we don't want to Terra, but we are going to... We're going to Body Press this. Either Sly is actually pretty good. We're going to Body Press the Chen Pao again. They know what we're doing, but that's fine. I don't want Sash to mess us up here anyways. If we can get to plus four, we're going to be in a good spot. Can Chi Yu go first? I mean, they could Sucker Punch, but that shouldn't knock out Chi Yu. I'm just still astonished by how much that U-turn did, but I guess Shen Pao wasn't on the field. And we don't have much and we have no investment into HP, I don't think. We do go first, so that's huge. We're at plus four now. Plus four defense against a lot of physical attackers. Bring it down to Sash, but Roaring Moon and Shen Pao should go next. But we should should be able to get rid of the Shen Pao, which is gonna be huge. Ice Spinner, okay. Not much going there, which is big. And Acrobatic takes down the Chiyu. So we'll be stuck at plus four, but that's still pretty good. These physical attackers are gonna have a tough time. And we'll finish off Gen Pao. Okay, won't get up to plus six, but that's all right. They didn't click Tailwind. We'll get a little leftover recovery. Looking, looking solid. 
Um, now is the time to bring out Rillaboom. Get a little extra recovery. Have priority here with Grassy Glide as Urshifu comes out. So this is a good switch. We got to look out for an Acrobatics. All right. So there's a few different things that we can do here. We're going to Grassy Glide because this has to be Choice Scarfed. They could swap, but that's fine. And we could Body Press. We could also Yawn. Rillaboom's going to go down if we don't Terra. There's no way they target the Rillaboom, though. So we are going to Terra Fire. Grassy Glide. Urshifu. And then we're going to Yawn this Moon. Okay, well, something's going to get a Yawn into that slot, so that's all right. See, it would have been nice to have Ogre Pawn out now, but I'd rather get these uh, this grassy Surge recovery on Dash Bun. That said, they might survive this grassy Glide now. We are max attack Rillaboom, but I think that Intimidate's going to keep uh, this Urshifu alive, especially since we lost Stab, right, since we Terrid Fire. But let's see how much we can do here. About half. So Intimidate playing a big, big role. U-turn comes out doing nothing. I'm fine with that. Get out of here. And this Arcanine's going to get yawned. So, pretty good move for us there. That's a good turn. Roaring Moon comes back out. Tell you what, none of these want a body press. <laughs> that is for sure. Nobody wants to be taking body presses right now. And that Arcanine also does not want to be yawned. Uh, we could U-turn ourselves now. We could also... We could have faked out last turn, but... I think it was smart not to fake out go for the damage. We could wood hammer. I'm going to wood hammer the Arcanine slot, because it's going to sleep next turn if they don't swap. And I'm going to body press the Moon slot. We'll see if they want to attack with Arcanine and let it go to sleep. I'm hoping for the withdraw into Urshifu, who's going to have to eat a wood hammer, as long as we don't go down. But, okay, they just Terra. They don't swap. They Terra the Arcanine. Fairy, okay. Still gonna have to take a wood hammer here. Breaking swipe comes out. It is very minimal damage and doesn't affect Dosh Bun, so great. And a rock slide, that's gonna hurt the Rillaboom. It does knock out the Rillaboom, okay. But they'll be asleep, so this is not the worst. We couldn't have protected, we could have swapped. Um, but I'm fine with that Arcanine just going to sleep and body press the moon, which knocks out the moon. See ya, Moon. See ya later. Arcanine should be falling asleep now. Good night, Arcanine. And we're going into Ogre Pond. So, we're in a 2v2 now. They cannot protect this Urshifu. We know that. And one more Grassy Glide on our Ogre Pond should finish off the job here and uh, yeah i don't see why we wouldn't grassy glide the urshifu and uh, do we want to also body press the ursh they can't protect yeah we're gonna body press as well just in case something odd happens Maybe could have clicked Snarl instead here to do more damage. How much is this going to do? Uh, that's good damage for not very effective. We'll take that. They will get a little recovery. I just don't see how this Arcanine defeats the Dosh Bun now. Um, we're going to IV Cudgel. Arcanine. I guess Snarl wouldn't have done more. So we'll just go for another Body Press. 
Ivy Cudgel coming out on grassy terrain. This should hurt. Nearly KOs the Arcanine. Arcanine wakes up. Wow. Only one turn of sleep. And they're just not doing enough damage. And they do get the flinch, so that's frustrating. But as long as Grassy Train's still down, which I lost track um, of how many turns we've had. But if it's still down, we can just Grassy Glide for the win. Let's see. It's still down. How many turns do we have left of Grassy Train? Just one. So they could protect here. Um... Yeah, they protect, they protect, fine. And we're just gonna guarantee it. I, I, it doesn't matter, as long as we attack, it, it's it's over. The battle was canceled, so there we go. The bun put in some work. The grass squad going really, really hard. I think we could have used Rillaboom and Ogre Pond a little bit better. We didn't get any of our Defiant boosts, but hey, that's a really good dub. Once Dodge Bun was set up, they're just, they're just done. Um, don't want to let Dodge Bun set up, that's for sure. Let's go. Fear the bun. Okay. Battling Tata with Snorlax, Grimmsnarl, Tyranitar, Rillaboom, Iron Hands, Dusclops. This is a hard Trick Room team by the looks of it with screens. This is an interesting team. I haven't faced a Trick Room team yet. Um, with this squad at least. What do we want to pull out against Trick Room? Uh... I think we just go with the bun. We go... Is there any reason not to go with Chiyu in the bun? I don't think so. Chiyu bun, Heatran in the back. This Klops is going to be a little bit annoying. Do we want Rillaboom? Ogre Pond is not going to do a lot for us here. So not worth bringing. Bundle, if Trick Room goes up, is going to be not ideal we'll bring we'll bring our own rillaboom for a little extra healing and some priority yeah although they might give us grassy terrain anyways but we need the priority on rillaboom so that's what we'll go with i think our opponent's gonna lead either dusk ops or hands and i think they're gonna bring that snorlax early to set up i'm guessing it's a belly drum set but we'll find out We'll find out very shortly. Do, do, do. Tata, what do you got for us? I like the hat. I like Tata's hat, that's cool. It is Iron Hands and Dusclops, so I was wrong to say it's gonna be one of them. Both come out, they're definitely gonna fake out Trick Room. Uh, sure, they found our Choice Scarf. And they found our leftovers. Fine. Ooh, it's booster energy hands. And it's attack oriented? Ooh, I do not like that. We're gonna tear a ghost to avoid a fake out here. We're gonna look to set up. Um, we could just snarl. We could also yawn immediately. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yawn this hands. I think this hands is going to click fake out uh, for sure into Chi Yu. Or there's a chance it reads a protect and just tries a sword stance or sword stance later this game. I don't know. I mean, it's already max attack. But I, I just know I got to be concerned about this Iron Hands. So let's, let's make it go sleep. We'll look to set up and, and try and put it to sleep. Fake out comes out. Yep. Into Chi Yu. We got that right question is with trick room going up which we can't deny it what can we do good damage and a burn on dusclops okay and yawn comes out all right here comes trick room burn doing a bit of damage I'm going to look to Lava Plume again, just get as set up as possible. Do I want to Snarl now? Another thing, I could also switch. Expecting them to switch out as well. I could switch into Rillaboom here. 
I don't mind trying to set up one more time with Chi Yu though. Yeah, I think I think it's fine losing Chi Yu. And we'll go with a yawn. We're gonna body press the hands actually, the hand slot. They do swap the hands, so something's gotta take a body press. Into Snorlax. Well that's good. <laughs> Okay. A lot of damage onto Snorlax. That's massive. It is a berry. But now they likely won't want to belly drum. And we're plus four now. Give me another burn. Give me another burn. No burn. This Duskoss Pain Split's gonna be pretty annoying, I won't lie. Is there anything stopping us from doing it again? I don't mind preserving Chiyu though, swapping into Rillaboom now, now that we're plus four, and honestly just protecting. Um, Cause we can fake out next turn. Yeah. We're going to swap into Rillaboom and simply protect. Waste the turn of Trick Room. We got up to plus four on Dosh Bun. We'll get a little bit of recovery now. Yeah, this is the play. Question is, what does Snorlax go for now? Pain Split. Expected. I got to get rid of this Dusclops. I don't want to be able to set Trick Room again. And Crunch. Alright, doing nothing. That's big. We are going to give the Duskoffs a little bit of recovery. Which is annoying. I guess not the worst if he's clicking Pain Split. So, but we're getting recovery as well. Alright, now we do a Fake Out. Pain Split's very frustrating into Josh Bun here. Uh, we will fake out Snorlax, and we're gonna we're gonna. Sn uh, I'm worried Snarl doesn't knock out the Clops. Does the Snorlax have Protect? We're gonna click Snarl. We're gonna go for it. Fake out the hands. They didn't protect, or fake out the Snorlax, and they willow. Okay, I'm fine with that. Please target my Rillaboom. That is okay by me. Snorlax flinches. Snarl comes out. Oh, that's, that's doing nothing. Why is that doing so little? Okay. Fine, though. We just don't have a great way to deal with this, um, Clops. They might be able to get another Trick Room up. Sure. How many turns left do they have of Trick Room? One. Okay. We're gonna Wood Hammer into the Clops. And we're just gonna protect this turn. I'm not sure if we'll be able to knock out. I mean, Wood Hammer does a lot of damage though, uh, but we are burned. Hoping to take out this Dusclops. I'm hoping they double up into Dosh Bun now. We could have potentially swapped again for the end of Trick Room. That might have been the play. Swap back into Chi Yu. Well, let's see. I would love to just knock out this Clops. That's why I'm going for it. I want to get rid of Clops. I figure they attack the Bun, which they do with Pain Split. What does Snorlax target? Use this curse, okay. Ups its defense. I mean, oh, and Klopp survives it, but it is burned, so we should take it out here. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Oh, okay, nope. 
that's very frustrating. Um, but we can take it out this turn now. Yeah, we're all right. We are all right. We could Grassy Glide. We could also just Wood Hammer into that slot just to do extra damage. And that's what we're going to do. Um, and we're now going to Body Press the Snorlax. I don't really see what they do here. They would have to swap nicely or hope Snorlax survives a body press, which is possible. Wood Hammer coming out just to guarantee it. I, Grassy Glide would have done the job too, but I was covering for maybe a potential swap and just doing as much damage as possible. Um, body press, how much can you do? Knock out the Snorlax. We're in a great spot now. Let's go. Good job, bun. Rillaboom swap was big. Them letting Chiyu get a second Lava Plume off was really big as well. But game's not over. Out comes their own Rillaboom, so they do a Fake Out now. And Iron Hands. So they double Fake Out, potentially. A little annoying. Do we want to swap into anything, though? Or just let Rillaboom go down. I'm okay with Rillaboom just going down. We could also U-turn. Yeah, I'll just click U-turn and protect this turn. That's fine by me. We could have hard swapped as well. I want. I really want Rillaboom to go down now. I mean, we could preserve a fake out for later. They, okay, they fake out Rilla. Fine. Oh, yeah. Take it down, please. Ah. All right. Well, they call our protect. Maybe maybe the burn takes it down. I don't think so. We're still at 25. Come on, burn. Take him down. I want the free swamp. Nope. Okay. Um, We're going to look to play this smart. We're plus four. They could heavy slam the bun, potentially. That's it. Uh, I'm going to look to U-turn again. I'm okay with Rillaboom going down. And I'm going to yawn the hands. Uh, that's very little damage. Okay. What do we want to swap into now? Let's swap into Heatran. I want the free swap onto my man Chiyu is what I want. We do preserve another fake out, which is big. Yawn comes out. Now, Dashbun just got to survive a heavy slam, and we should be fine. They grassy glide without grassy terrain. Okay, that's fine. And thunder punch of the Dashbun. Nothing going. They must not have heavy slam. And that's fine by me. Iron Hand's going to sleep next turn. We can double protect to guarantee the sleep. Um, that's what we're going to do. Go to sleep, hands. I know it's a rat way to play, but let's just make shit easier on ourselves, you know? <laughs> Might as well. I mean, there's a small chance we can lose this, but we're just going to guarantee it with the yawns here. Double protect. Let's get Iron Hands to sleep. We'll put Real Boom to sleep next. They go for knockoff. Sure. We haven't even tarried yet, have we? Iron Hands is now asleep. We're going to yawn the Rillaboom next. Um, oh, no, we have tarried. I mean, we could even just get more set up. And honestly, might as well. We're going to get the bun up to plus six with another Lava Plume. Do damage to Rillaboom, and then we can Earth Power next turn onto the hands. But battle was canceled. The bun is just too hard to stop. Was on the field the entire game for us. Oh, I love Dosh Bun. Um, there we go. Taking game two with another dub. Dosh Bun putting in work. Let's keep rolling.
Okay, taking on Scion with the Nine Tails. Interesting. Interesting sunny day team here. I do not like it. I do not enjoy it. Oof. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's try something. Give me sunny day. Give it to me. We're going to bring our own fire users. I'm fine with that. Do they have anybody with fighting moves? Um, no, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. Who do we want to finish off with here? Bundle could be all right, actually. Don't want to bring our Ogre Pond. Grass isn't looking great because of that Roaring Moon. And the potential fire users. Yeah, we're going to bring Bundle in the back. Give Bundle a little appearance. Fake Out wouldn't be bad. Eh, we'll go with Bundle. Time for Bundle to show off what he can do. Bring him to close out this game. Alright, but what we're going to say is, sure. Put up Sunny Day. Give us some extra firepower. We can tear a our dosh bun if we need into steel and not have fire affect us all you can really do is fire and ground then or not fire fighting and ground but no it's roaring moon flutter very interesting lead here who's got the booster energy i know one of you do who's got the booster energy it is the moon okay and it's attack though so, we should sell out speed. And we're going to Lava Plume. We're going to Lava Plume Body Press. Don't need a Terra yet on our end. They're going to commit a Terra to Moon. Into Ghost. Okay. That's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. It's really not fine. Never mind. We clicked that sliding move. Okay. They know what they're dealing with here. Sure. We can click Snarl next round. Uh, Yawn would have been way better this turn, huh? I should have clicked Yawn. All right. Good tear from them. Power Gem comes out into the Chi Yu. That's going to one-shot our Chi Yu with a crit. Power Gem Flutter gets a crit. Okay. We're in a bad spot. And they Iron Head. Wow. Wow, what a read. And they get the flinch. Not that matter because we kicked a move that wasn't going to do anything. Um, okay, not a great spot. But you know what I can say is, hey, how about Heatran's turn with the Lava Plumes? Let's keep setting up the bun. Or we could just Flash Cannon. Do we want a Terra? We're gonna hold off on the Terra. We're gonna we're gonna get this bun set up. Ah, uh, no, the bun's not gonna do a ton here. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we're gonna flash cannon, flutter. We're gonna Terra steel, snarl. Avoid those iron heads. All right. Well, our opponent is very much ready for this lead for sure. So good on them. They know how to deal with the bun. Let's see if they can deal with this though. Another power gem coming out. Not too bad. I'm guessing that's choice spec though. And another steel move. Not very effective this time. Here comes Snarl. Doing very little, but we will drop that special attack, which is big. Flutter main is not going to do as much this now. And Flash Cannon, goodbye Flutter. See ya. Was a crit. Shouldn't have mattered though. We are Life Orb. Max attack. Or max special attack. Heatran. Oh, actually, I don't know if we're max. I don't think we are max. I take it back. But it still didn't matter. We are going to do a lot of damage. Dosh Bond getting a little bit of recovery. We're going to yawn whatever comes in next to uh, Moon here. All right. 
you know what? Lava plume time. And yawn time. The Roaring Moon is going to swap. Okay. I'm totally fine with this. Are we faster? Nine Tails comes out. Okay. You know, this isn't bad because we clicked uh, Lava Plume. So we're going to get more damage here. They are going to heighten Sliverling's attack. Oh my god, this squad is crazy. We do get a Yawn off, which is really, really nice, but won't sleep this turn. And close combat, we're not faster, finishes off the Heatran. That is brutal. Slow Heatran on our side, but at least it's going to sleep. Yeah, we're not in a great spot now. We lost our fire users. Mm, okay. I would have liked to keep one of those fire users in. Heatran's just a little too slow there. Now, they can close combat. Slitherwing can close combat right now. So, we should protect our Doshbun. Or do we call the swap? Um, yeah. So, if we think Slitherwing's going to swap here, we should just attack. If we don't think so, I don't think we should be giving up our bun, though. So we're going to freeze dry in the Slitherwing spot, and we're just going to protect. Yeah. We're only plus two. They do swap. Uh, attack would have been the right play there. I was debating it. Back into moon. They're not going to like a freeze dry, though. Oh, no, they are ghost, so it won't matter. Still won't like a freeze dry. Freeze dry, can you KO, please? No, not enough. Snarl comes out, okay. Gonna lower our special attack. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, I think this is a lost game. This one's gonna be a little bit hard now. Especially with that special attack lowered here. Um, another freeze dry won't do it. But we can look to protect, potentially. And, no, we can't body press that slot. Uh, yeah, we're not in a great spot. That Ghost Terra Roaring Moon is very frustrating. We're going to offer another Freeze Dry into the Roaring Moon slot. And we're just going to look to Yawn Ninetales. Got to go for attacks. They protect, okay. That's all right. It's fine by me. Another snarl. That's a lot of damage onto bundle. Wow. Gets the crit, which is very frustrating. It won't matter onto our dosh bun. But we're definitely not going to be able to knock out this. Roaring Moon next. It's a little bit frustrating, but you know what I can do? Encore. Have fun protecting again. And now we're going to body press the Ninetales spot. Yes, I'm going to body press the Ninetales slot. We got to do some damage. They swap out as expected. I could have yawned that slot as well, which would have been really strong. This is why having uh, Encore on Bundle is really strong. Encore out, the moon, you gotta protect again, have fun. They do get the protect, <laughs> but that's fine, we're not targeting Roaring Moon now anyways. Body Press comes out, not a lot of damage. It's a not very effective move. We just don't have a lot of damage we can deal now that we've been snarled twice. Uh, yeah. We really just can't do a lot of damage. What I'm going to do is freeze right into Slitherwing. Um, 
I think Slither, Slitherwing Clip's close combat here. I'm gonna protect, as odd as that is. They swap out Roaring Moon, sure. Just hoping to get free damage onto this Slitherwing. No, they use First Impression, wow. All right, now this is over. We're not set up enough for the bun to solo. Good read by our opponents. Another yawn would have been would have been strong. Yeah, I just don't see a world in which we uh, can win this now. So we are going to throw on the towel. Unfortunately. It happens. We just didn't get set up enough. We wasted our fire users. Uh, I think our opponent played that one really, really well uh, with swaps and whatnot. We had the tools. We just didn't execute. I feel like if we got the one, that one back, I could preserve to you and he trained a little bit better to really do damage or help set up that bun. We just didn't get set up enough. Um, if we did, we actually probably could have 1v4'd potentially if we didn't tear as well towards steel. But it happens. All right, taking on Pepe with a very, very odd team. Okay, uh, I don't like this. This is looking like could be a Trick Room team, or you got that Torkoal down. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. Um, don't really want to lead Grass because they have Torkoal. They do have that Wind Rider ability, but we can't set Tailwind anyway, so it doesn't matter. Got a couple of Ghost types, which is going to be frustrating for Doshbun to do damage to. This might be a Bundle Chi Yu start. Going a different lead here. Or we could go Bundle Ogre Pond. No, we're going to go Bundle Chi Yu. Bring Heatran. And bring our Rilla. Leaving Doshman at home in this game. Leaving Overgrapon at home. Looking to do heavy damage with the Bundle Chi Yu to start. Lower that special defense stage with Chi Yu. We got Choice Scarf on. They might look to set. Do they actually have a Trick Room Setter? Now that I think about it, I don't... Who's their Trick Room Setter? I was saying this is a Trick Room team, but hang on. I might have overlooked something. Oh, let's see what the lead is. It is Shiftry and Braviary. Uh, you know, not what I was expecting. They're, they are going the Tailwind set. Fine. Fine. I got super effective moves for you. You're going to Tailwind. You're going to get hit by that. Um, they can fake out, though. Ooh, who do I Terra here? Who do they... Uh, it's honestly pick. It's just pick one. I'm going to Terra Chi Yu. And I'm going to Overheat Shiftry. If they're on the Tailwind set, they're looking to get Shiftry set up. So Shiftery likely fakes out this Chi Yu is my logic here, but it really could be either. Luckily, we had dual Ghost Terras, so we do have the right lead for this. It's just, do we get the turn right is now the main question. Fake out the Chi Yu. Nope, they fake out the bundle. Okay, good read by our opponents. Overheat coming out, though. Gonna bring it down to Sash. All right, a little frustrating. We could have done a lot of damage here, and here comes Tailwind. Now, this is why we brought Rillaboom now. Um, you might have a boosted Shiftery, but I can just protect and swap into Rilla. 
Because now we'll get Fake Out and Priority with Grassy Glide. They have a 1 HP Pokemon. We'll heal it a little bit, but you're not going to survive a Grassy Glide. Waste a turn of Tailwind. And see what our opponents want to do here. It's just, the question is, what does Real Boom have to take? Protect coming out on the bundle. Shifter uses Sucker Punch. Good. Good swap by us. Braviary also targets the bundle. Fine. I don't know if that bundle can survive a uh, close combat, though. We are speed booster bundle. Do we outspeed in Tailwind? That I do not know. Should we find out? Let's find out. For science. Um... You can't survive a Grassy Glide, can you, Shiftery? I do not think so. They just protect Shiftery. Okay, get Electra Healing. Fine. I should have faked out the Braviary. Yeah, that would have been the play. Nope, we are faster with Tailwind, so... Oh, we don't knock out the Braviary. And it close combats. Doesn't knock out the bundle either, though. Okay. We're in an interesting spot. We're in a very interesting spot. Now does this shiftery survive? Um, I could also encore the shiftery. But it could sucker punch. We're just going to protect. And we're going to grassy glide. This should knock out shiftery. We're going to grassy glide shiftery. I'm expecting the Sucker Punch into Bundle. Yep. And now it's probably a flying move into our poor Rillaboom. But that was still the right play. No, it's Acrobatics into Bundle. Wow, they want this Bundle gone. So big turn for us. Bundle survives. And Tailwind's gone. So we stall Tailwind really, really nicely without taking casualties. I mean, our bundle surviving on three was everything there. Um, yeah, I think we made all the right plays so far. Maybe could have used our fake out. Actually, that was the only right play. Uh, Roaring Moon comes out. None of you appreciate a freeze dry. Who protects out of the two, though? Likely Roaring Moon. I don't know if Barry Barry has protect. Um, and I don't want to swap yet, so we're going to uh, U-turn. Because we shouldn't be faster than Roaring Moon <clears throat> on Rillaboom. Okay, Brave Area just swapped, so I wish we targeted Moon. We could have knocked out this Moon, potentially. Into Torkoal. Ooh, are they going to boost their speed now? That's scary. That's actually really scary. Okay. Not the worst. I mean, we have fire types on the back. They also commit the Terra. Roaring Moon's gonna be ground. You know, I'm not upset about that. I'm okay with that. Freeze Drag coming out into the Torkoal. Not gonna do very much. And EQ. Rillaboom's totally fine. And we're going to U-turn out of here, preserve a fake out as well. Nice thing is we can position how we want now. So what do we want? I want to go back into Rillaboom. So I'm going to go Chiyu. I mean, it's not bad to bring out Heatran either, is it? I'm still going to bring out Chi Yu and then go into Rillaboom. Because I want to have a fake out here. We've already tear it as well. Uh, now back into Rillaboom. So this is another fake out. 
They might just double protect. Um, which fine, go for it, double protect. What do we want to lock into now? Overheat? Don't want to lock into Lava Plume. I mean, we can knock out Torkoal. They did so much damage to their own Torkoal, too. I mean, the sun's down. I think we look to knock out this Torkoal with Dark Pulse. Yeah, we're gonna click Dark Pulse. I expect double protect here, if I'm honest. No. All right, can Dark Pulse knock out? That's the question. It does. Braviary gonna be the last Mon to come back out here. We lose grassy terrain. Um, question is now, do we want to keep priority with Rillaboom? Uh, yeah, I'm going to swap into Heatran. And I'm going to Dark Pulse this Braviary. Make it a 2v1 at the very worst. Best thing they can do here is protect Braviary. And attack with the moon. So that's our biggest risk is if Heatran or Chiyu get knocked out. Um, but no, we're just able to take the Brave Area. It's now a 3v1, but they do get a uh, EQ off. Let's see how we take this. Neither take it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, this is gonna get a little bit harder. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have swapped. I should not have swapped. Okay, we might be throwing. I was hoping we could take that a little bit better on Chiyu. To sack our Heatran for another fake out with Chiyu, but Chiyu did not take that. Not take that one bit. Uh, nice thing is, Grassy Glide's super effective. We do have fake out right now. We don't need it. We also just wood hammer. What could Roaring Moon have? Acrobatics that we wouldn't like? Oof. Do we gotta risk the Grassy Glide? Yeah, I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for Grassy Glide. Okay, they just protect, fine. They're gonna get that recovery. Uh, I'm worried that Grassy Glide does not knock out here. But they can knock us out with acrobatics. I mean, their attacks heightened. I'm gonna go for the glide. We gotta survive a hit anyways. No, Grassy Glide finishes it. Thank you, Rillaboom. It was a crit. I kind of think that mattered. Um, we nearly threw that game. I, I tried my hardest to throw, <laughs> but we fend off the moon in the end and take the win with Rillaboom's Grassy Glide and a crit. Honestly, pretty fun games today. Uh, I really liked adding this grass core to this Dosh Bun team. It's not even really a Dosh Bun team now. It's just a, a nice ranked team. Um, so I appreciate you all. I'll link the rental code uh, down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Appreciate you all and have a good day. Peace.